In this video, we work through an example problem dealing with a toll booth. Now get out pencil and paper. We're going to model a toll booth. We have a single channel, one lane, undersaturated, infinite queue. We're going to assume plus on arrivals, negative exponential service time. That means the random arrivals and random departure rates, so it's an MM1 process. The arrival rate is 500 vehicles per hour. The service rate is 700 vehicles per hour. Determine the percentage of time that the operator will be free the average queue size in the system, and the average wait time for vehicles that wait. Pause the video and solve the problem. First thing, what do we need to calculate? We need to calculate rho. Rho is lambda over mu, 500 vehicles per hour arriving, 700 vehicles per hour service rate. This gives us a capacity utilization of 0 0.714. 3600 is the number of seconds per hour, so you might want to think about what units you're using. Next, we want to calculate the expected number of vehicles in the queue for an MM1 process, rho over 1 minus rho, which is 2.5, 0 0.714 over 1 minus 0 0.714. Third, we want to look at the probability that there are n vehicles where n is 0, so the probability the system operator is free. This is rho to the n times 1 minus rho, which is the percentage of time the operator will be free, which is 0 0.714 to the 0 times 1 minus 0 0.714, which equals 0 0.286. The expected wait time of vehicles, lambda over mu times mu minus lambda, or 500 over 700 times 700 minus 500, is 12.85 seconds. The delay of the vehicle, which is the expected wait time plus the service time, is 1 over 700 minus 500, which is 18 seconds. The service time is 1 over the service rate, so 1 over 700 vehicles per hour is 0 0.1429 hours, or 5.142 seconds. 5.142 seconds plus 12.85 seconds equals 18 seconds. So to check you did these equations correctly.